What's up guys, it's Coexist here today, and uh, no, there's no no PowerPoint slide on the front because honestly that's just bullshit and I don't want to even try to do graphics and music and intros and all of that. So, yeah, you know, I'm a very down-to-earth person and if I want to show you something then I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna show you something. I'm not gonna take 30 minutes of my time to try to figure out something. I'm a man with a schedule, okay? I, I don't have time to edit. I don't have time to be professional, okay? I'm not a professional. If you thought I was a professional, you're wrong. I'm not, not a professional, okay, guys? If I say something, take that with a grain of salt. Just kidding. Don't, um, if I seriously mean to, I'd fuck it, whatever. All right, so today, um, we're going to be kind of securing our server a little bit uh, because I'm pretty sure you have a VPS or a VDS or whatever the frick you want to call it. Um... Anyways, you probably got a login. It's obviously going to be root. Uh, if you're able to have root access on the server, it kind of sucks if you don't. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, make it a little more secure because people are always scanning IPs. People are always trying default passwords. And you just don't want a whole bunch of failed logins for the user root and stuff like that. And there's a couple of things you can do to, you know, have your server a little bit more protected such as change the SSH port you can disable root login and things of that nature you can block SSH um, via a firewall uh, from your VPS provider if you wanted to do that um, which would make it 100% secure because no one could even log in in the first place but today uh, for simplicity I'll just show you that and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get started so obviously you're gonna want to SSH into whatever the whatever server you want to do. So this is going to be one of mine. Don't get any ideas. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So we're just gonna log in. And voila, we are welcome to Ubuntu 16.04.2. Great, that's great. Um, so once we're in, uh, we'll want to obviously just change the port. How about that? We can just change the port. So we can do that just by doing nano slash x slash etc or etc slash ssh if i type it correctly mm -mm, can't type today come on and then sshd config and of course you can tab will become your best friend so you don't have to type all that shit you can hit enter and here we go as you can see right here it's saying what ports ips and protocols we listen for so you can see we're listening for port 22 now you could add ip down here and I set it to where it would only accept for one IP. Problem with that is if you have an IP that changes, you're going to literally lock yourself out of your own server. So that's only useful if you know you have a static and it's never going to change. All right, so port 22. Let's change that to port 1337 because we are so elite. We are hack source. We are elite. Okay, so that's one thing we can do. Uh, to make it a little secure. If that's all you want to do, you can just write out this file by hitting Control X and hitting Yes or Y on the keyboard and hitting Enter. And there you go. That's we're not done yet. So we're going to make it to where root can't log in. Um, so we're going to do Control W. We're going to search. Okay. So we're going to search for root. And uh, here we go. Permit root login. We're just going to change that value to No. Okay. Control X Y Enter. Great. Now, do not restart your uh, your SSH server yet. Uh, if you are going to do that, don't, because you obviously you, know, you haven't created a user. That's number two. If you disable root login, you're obviously going to need another user to be able to log in. So uh, we will just add user, and I'll call myself Coco because I am Coco Puff. Okay. See, so you hit that. You're going to make a password for them. And voila, full land doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay. So once you've added the user, that's great and all, but if they log in, guess what? They're not going to be able to do anything with sudo. So we need to use user mod, so user mod, and add them to a group. So dash A, lowercase a, Linux is very specific about this, lowercase a, capital G, sudo, and then the username. Hit enter, everything goes well, it'll just create a new line. Great. Now we need to restart uh, the SSH server so that way it'll apply the settings that we just made. So we can do etc. Uh, init.d and then SSH. And of course, I probably should have put service and restart. Fuck, what did I do? 
No, I didn't need that. Fuck, I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay. So now, we can just log out. Clear our screen. So now we're going to log into the server, and I'm going to show you what happens if we try to log in as we did before. If I try to log in, it's going to say, can't connect. Connection was refused. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, to use the specific port you specified, you'd use the P option, which is a dash P, and we set it to 1337. So now we're going to do that. Now it's going to give us our password. Now, even if I type in the correct password, it is not going to let me in. It's going to say permission denied. Please try again. And you can continue to do this um, because we've disabled root login. So it doesn't matter how many times I type in the correct password, you're not getting in. So we need to change that user. We, we logged in as, of course, for me, I created the user Coco. So let's go ahead and log in. Voila, we can log in. And uh, as you can see, this message right here, um, that's one way you can confirm that you were added to the pseudo list or the pseudos group or whatever. Uh, it'll tell you to run a command as administrator, use sudo and then command. Um, if you need to switch over to the root user permanently to do some things, so you don't have to type sudo before things or whatever, you can type su and then enter the administrator password. Now, this is the root password that you'll have to enter. So hopefully your uh, user password that you just logged in with is different than the root password. So keep that in mind. If you are trying to enter your uh, the user that you created and it, its password, it's going to not let you log in. It'll say denied. So you have to do that. Now, as you can see, I am root. And then I can CD to root. And it's as if I was sitting there on the root. If you want to exit this and go back to your user, you just type exit. And now you're your normal user. And of course, to log out, blow, you can do that. Uh, so there you go. That's how to make your server a little bit more secure regarding SSH. Um, of course, you can always block the port, you know, altogether. However, don't do that from the inside because if you do that from the inside, how are you going to turn it back on? So, for instance, let me show you. Here is. Um, well, yeah. Shit. What am I doing? Okay, so here is my filters on this. Um, you can just create, if you're using NFO, you can go down here to firewall. So if I wanted to block that right here, um, all I'd have to do is use a, a BPF filter saying that, okay, so any, um, any inbound packets from uh, that, that are TCP and are the destination is port 22, we can block. Um, of course, we changed that. So in my case, it'd be 1337 because we're elite. And then this would be block, right? And then we could hit submit. And now if we go back over here and just try to log in, it's just not going to make a connection. It's just going to time out. Yep. See, it's not going to do anything because we are ultimate hacks. Um, of course, you'll always have to remember to change that from block to accept, submit, and then of course you'd be able to log into it as you can see here. I already know someone's going to ask. You, I'm pretty sure someone was sly enough to catch that tab that said not porn. That's my that's my private server. Um, why is it called not porn? Because it's not porn. Um, I didn't know what to call the folder, so it's just a bunch of junk, and it happened to not be porn. Um, so yeah, I already figured someone was going to point that out, so before you do, <laughs> that's that for you. So anyways, back on the actual topic of computing and not porn. Uh, that is that. That is how you make that a little bit more secure. Um, there's a, a couple of more advanced things you could probably do, that system administrators would probably want you to do which would be disable SSH altogether uh, but I'm not gonna do that because YOLO swag so anyways if you like the video if you like the, the simple approach that I'm using to go about this then go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you hated it and fucking hate everything that I do and want me to give myself to a, a thumbs down also I'm saying that ironically I'm not gonna do that but you can still give it a thumbs down um, if you have any questions or and or comments leave them in the description in the comments section below not the description and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next video